Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today, we are going to talk about one of the most exciting topics in technology, which is artificial intelligence. Intel, one of the leading technology companies, has been making significant advances in the field of AI later in the video. The basic idea of neuromorphic computing is to create a chip that emulates the human brain. We're rethinking computing itself from the bottom up by applying the latest understanding from neuroscience to computer architecture. If you look at the conventional CPU, it operates in a dramatically different way from the way the actual brain works. About 99% of all chips are designed with a clock. This is what's called synchronous design methodology. It's continually reading a rigid sequential instruction set. Asynchronous design is a completely different way of designing chips that doesn't use a clock. It's inspired more directly from how the brain works. With neuromorphic chips, we're creating a huge parallel sea of neurons where each one operates without any prescribed order. My team came from a startup that Intel acquired applying research relating to asynchronous design. We have software developers, chip designers, architects, algorithms researchers that come from diverse backgrounds like physics and biology, even chemistry. Loihi is the world's most advanced neuromorphic chip. It has scalability built right into it, so we can chain together this neural fabric. Over time, we'll see Intel's neuromorphic chips deployed in a wider range of real-world applications. Smart factories, adaptive, faster manufacturing, human-computer interfacing through gestures, processing speech, olfaction, and vision. We have the freedom within Intel Labs to explore these exotic new ideas. How humans come up with creative insights is not understood in conventional computing. We must draw inspiration from how our human intelligence guides us and explores different possibilities. We're making progress. One of the benefits of brain-like computing is that it can process information in a more energy-efficient manner than traditional computing systems. This is because the human brain uses much less energy than a traditional computer, despite being much more powerful in terms of processing capabilities. Brain-like computing could, therefore, be a key technology in the development of more sustainable computing systems. What are spiking neural networks? Spiking neural networks are a type of artificial neural network that are based on the way that neurons in the human brain communicate with each other. In traditional neural networks, the signals that are passed between neurons are binary either on or off. In contrast, spiking neural networks use time-based signals, which more closely mimic the way that neurons in the brain communicate. Spiking neural networks have several advantages over traditional neural networks. One of the most significant advantages is that they can process information much more quickly and efficiently. This is because the time-based signals used by spiking neural networks are more precise and can convey more information than binary signals. Another advantage of spiking neural networks is that they can be more energy efficient than traditional neural networks. This is because the signals used by spiking neural networks are closer to the way that neurons in the brain communicate, which is much more energy efficient than traditional binary signals. Intel has been working on developing spiking neural networks for several years now, and they have made significant progress. Their latest research focuses on building neuromorphic chips that are designed to work with spiking neural networks. Brain-like computing and spiking neural networks have many potential applications across a wide range of industries. One of the most promising applications is in the field of robotics. Robots that are equipped with brain-like computing and spiking neural networks would be able to process information more quickly and efficiently, which could make them more capable and adaptable in complex environments. Another potential application is in the field of autonomous vehicles. Self-driving cars that are equipped with brain-like computing and spiking neural networks could process well. They could be used to develop more accurate diagnostic tools or to monitor patients in real time for more videos on the latest developments in technology.